Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today what I want to be doing is not so much an unboxing um, video, um, but more of an, an, a reveal on my new purchase. Um, it is the Louis Vuitton um, Duomo Hobo bag. Um, it just came out this, actually this year, and let's just go ahead and get right into it. Um, it does come with this jaw string um, dust bag. I really love the jaw string dust bag just because it's just a little nice addition added to the dust bag and um, I don't know I just prefer it m more um, better than the um, you know the one that just flaps stop over or falls over. Um, so in here this is my baby. Um, so that's the Duomo Hobo Louis Vuitton. Um, it is my newest um, baby in the collection. So inside has a very nice roomy um, area to it. And I'm not quite sure how to describe the inside, but it's almost kind of like this. Yeah, it's almost the same like the Speedy and also the Delightful PM and MN. Um, fabric lining. It's actually not fabric, but it's, uh, I forgot what this is called. So, um, sorry guys, I'm not really good with this term, terminology. But, um, it is measured to be about 14.6 inches in length, and then, um, in height it is 15.5 inches tall, and then for the width, it is 5.5 inches, and it does come with this very nice um, four feet on the bottom, as you can see it. Very pretty. I always love the leather, and even the canvas feels very buttery soft, you guys. It's, um, it's a very different feel than my Delightful. So that's nice. The handle... Um, Again, I don't know what they have or what they added to their um, ingredient. I would say, I was going to say chemical um, when they made this bag, but it just feels absolutely um, high quality, uh, feels sturdy, feels comfortable on the shoulder. Um, it doesn't slide off my shoulder, which is a plus, and it is um, a very nice hobo bag. If you guys are considering getting a hobo bag, this would be the goal to bag to get. So, um, as you can see, it almost looked like the Sully um, MM, but that only comes with the monogram, um, or the um, Portobello. So, this all, this is in the in between. I know another gal actually talked about this, and um, I think, I forgot their name, but I know they're um, the YouTuber on YouTube, um, and they inspired me to get this bag. So, I am just happy um, that video came out, and um, I was able to make up my mind to purchase this bag. So, on the side... Just looks like that. You can't really see the leather on the side, which is, that's okay. Um, and it does come, so all four sides of this bag on the top corner here comes with the metal Medela, um, little gold Medela right there. And it says, um, made in France in 1854 Louis Vuitton. So, that's very cute, very pretty. And it comes, like I said, on four corners, just a really nice addition to the bag. Um, the zipper pull almost reminds me of the Adele wallet. Um, I don't know if you guys are familiar with Adele wallet, but it has these like two zipper pull, almost identical, almost or it looks alike, but the only difference is obviously the leather. So this is leather, and then the um, the Adele wallet is just a different fabric or material. Um, not as nice. So I am going to go ahead and fit a little bit of my accessories, my wallets, phones inside and show you how it sits like on my shoulder. i um, do a little bit of like a model shot for you guys. Um, so here's my Sarah wallet that I always carry. I love this wallet. I just feel like I change out my wallets a lot and this is the one that I always go back to. So love love this wallet um my pm uh cosmetic pouch here's my phone um this is actually iphone 5c so what i do is i put all my music 
I use my iPhone 5C kind of like an iPod. I don't actually, I didn't actually went and got one of the iPod. I just um, used this to listen to my music. And so we're going to fit it right inside one of these pockets here. Yep, right there. Then I do have my iPhone 6 Plus. Sit, fit inside here. And um, this is just for laughs and giggles. Not for laughs and giggles, but um, just to show you what can it fit inside. So what I would usually carry on a like regular basis would just be my wallet and then my cosmetic pouch, my phone, my keys, and um, my iPad or my iPhone 5C that I turn into my um, iPod. So as you can see, with already this much stuff, I just, I don't know, for me, I don't like to carry a lot of stuff, so I feel like this is already getting heavy. I mean, the bag itself is really light, but with all the stuff in it now, I can feel the weight on it, so. And this is my mini pochette in the Damier Azor. Um, the dusk, this bag does come with a D-ring, so I can just attach this to the little D-ring, which is on this side, I believe. Okay. Now, you guys, I actually did um, try to put, like, a crossbody, make this a crossbody bag, and it looks so cute, which I can show you in another video with my um, strap, my Louis Vuitton strap around it and make it into a crossbody. It works great. Um, the only thing probably would fit is just some cards, maybe um, the little key clay and uh, iPhone 5C or 5S if you have, that would fit in here. So if you just want to do a quick error, Aaron, that would work great. So here you guys, we have all my essential and daily needs in here. Um, and you still have quite a bit of room, actually. So if you want to fit more, those of you that like to carry a lot more in here, um, you can fit a lot more, actually. And then we're going to zip this baby up. You guys, um, the only thing about this bag that I am super scared of is ripping the zipper pull off. Like, it's just the way it feels. I feel like I can rip the zipper from I don't know it just feels very uh very what do you call it prone to ripping I don't know that's maybe because I'm it's like my f first time using like a hobo bag that has a zipper because all the hobo bag that I had in the past um pretty much it, it's open so when there's a zipper and there's like oh, what do you do so uh, this is how it looks like when it's a sag, um, I got to adjust it a little bit. So maybe we'll do that here, there, okay. So that's how it would look like. Um, maybe on my next video I can probably add a better model shot than this. Because um, you guys can't really probably see it that well. Um, but yeah, it just sits real nicely. Almost like a fortune cookie. Um, another thing you can do is spread the top out a little bit so that you have some room for it to rest in kind of like that so, you know, squeeze the top a little bit and now you have some room and it looks something like that. So this could be another way you can carry it. Um, let me see if I can, uh, I'll do a better model shot. Okay. So yeah guys, um, this is it for today. I don't have anything else more than this. I just wanted to share with you my new baby and I'm going to really enjoy using this bag for the next probably couple of days. Um, I have not really actually used it um, just because I don't want to get it too dirty or I'm just really, not really OC because of the color transfer. There's no worry about tr um, color transferring but it's just such a new bag and I just want to enjoy it for a little longer and um, 
the other problem for me is just that I'm not used to this part being zipped up so I don't know if I should leave it open and just use it that way but then it just looks all well it looks the same but I, I don't know we'll see I will give you more thoughts and um, more of what like what I think about it um, if I like it if I want to like keep it or sell it I don't know um, right now it's more of a test and trial and um, at this moment I really like the look I really like the feel of it um, I am probably going to try to keep this bag for as long as I can and um, I don't want to sell it um, if I don't have to but it's yeah it's probably going to be with me for the next the next couple of months or year or so so thank you so much for watching um, I am purchasing also the Kensington um, Louis Vuitton Kensington I think that's how you say it um, so when it arrives I will do more videos on that uh, bag or that baby as well again you guys thank you so much for watching and have a blessed day Mwah.